Uh, my name is uh, Francis Duriflé uh, from uh, AK Group. I'm in charge of the sales uh, for uh, the IT180 UAV, which is thus behind us. This um, product is a mini UAV. It's a unique because uh, it's a contra-rotating system. It's weighting approximately 20 kilograms. It has a capacity of uh, flying up to two hours and taking payload up to five kilograms. So it's unique because we can take a payload on the bottom of the UAV, but also on the top of the UAV. It has a capacity to withstand the very harsh environment like wind gust up to 60 or 70 kilometers per hour. In addition, this product is now available in a touch -red version. On the back of a truck, it's fully automatic. The operator inside the truck just push a button and he doesn't have to go outside the truck. And then the roof will open, the UAV will slowly pop up above the box and then he will start turning, rotating and then he will climb, he will take off. After that, it's less than three minutes after that, you have your UAV in the air for a duration unlimited because it's fitted by the power plant which is inside the box. So you can stay in the air at an altitude of up to 150 meters as long as you want to make observation, surveillance of a very uh, sensitive area. It's what we call the virtual mast. It can be used also as a radio relay. So it's a multi-operation, uh, multi-mission uh, solution which is uh, unique because the same product, when you come back on the ground, you can remove the cable, put some battery, and then it's a standard on a normal UAV. AK Group uh, design and produce land robotic solution in accordance with the operational needs. Our land robots are adapted to the size of the unit and to the complexity of the missions. As we are working with Homeland Security units, with uh, military land forces, we are able to handle various missions such as reconnaissance, such as chemical and radiological uh, diagnostic, and such as explosive neutralization. Our robots are configurable, that is to say modular, so we can plug and play various missions modules to have a reconnaissance solution, and uh, an AOD solution, and a Siberian solution. Another important point is that we have a collaborative system. So through one single control unit, you can drive remotely up to four different robots from the AK Group uh, Land Robotic Solutions. Iguana, the brand new robot, is a response to the new threat and the new terrorist mode of operation. As it can go for, uh, inside a plane for a mission, for instance, to recover a piece of luggage uh, in the rack of an aircraft cabin, thanks to its long extension arm, the four flippers for the mobility and the very narrow brief of the system. So here we have the Cobra, which is a mini remote control robot that can hold in a rucksack. It's very configurable. You can remove the wheels, you can have some tracks. Here is in a reconnaissance configuration with the camera. Here is in counter IED uh, configuration with a tiltable disruptor support. This lightweight robot is called the Camelon, is uh, suited for AOD mission. It can hold the whole mission as uh, for the first task is reconnaissance. The second one would be the diagnostic mission using the arm in order to use an X-ray module. And then the neutralization thanks to disruptors that you can plug uh, to the Camelon. So the simulator we are showing here is called the MVS. It's an acronym for Military Vehicle Simulator. So it simulates an armored troop transport truck. It's uh, composed of a fully immersive cabin with a closing door on a six-axis platform. The six-axis platform allows to reproduce all the attitudes and the movement of the vehicles. These are very specific vehicles with a specific behavior on the road. So it's important to have a very immersive system in order to reproduce uh, the behavior of the real vehicle. Uh, on top of that, besides the very fine simulation and the very realistic and immersive simulation, we have a whole set of pedagogic tools that are integrated in it. So the key is to be able to train any crew from beginning to end. So someone with a basic driver license can come and follow the training program and learn about the vehicle itself, so the different commands, how to operate, and also how to drive in traffic.
these vehicles are very difficult to drive because they are armored and you have to use the cameras to open the field of view. This requires very specific training because it's not natural at the beginning. So it's a part of the training program we have integrated here. Another part of the training program is very important, is tactical training or collective training. This is why here in Eurosatory we have brought all the simulators and they are all connected together. Uh, they all see each other in the virtual environment. So they can repeat uh, some uh, scenarios like escort or convoy or even uh, ambush.